Today is the 22nd story from the Zen Fresh Zen Bones written by Paul Fritz. My heart burns like fire. So in Shakur, the first Zen teacher to come to America said, My heart burns like fire, but my eyes are as cold as dead ashes. He made the following rules, which he practiced every day of his life. My heart burns like fire. I see that in India. People see another person right in the house. Samskriti, the culture should be practiced right in the house with a heart burning. Strike when the rod is hot, goes to the saying, and if you are not hot, not that what Kannada FM really said, hot maga hot, and everybody think the bum hot, the gundi hot, not that hot, the heart is hot. If the heart cannot be hot, then all the other hot will not have any value. They see each other, mother, the son sees the mother, he doesn't say good morning, either the mother says good morning, namaste, yes. Even if you see her uh, 10 times also, you still smile and Say Namaste. Yes. Even if you see the elder tent and you see bend, touch the feet. Yes, so that you get your bending exercises. Because every time to do exercise will be boring for the body. But the body likes the hot maga. The, when the hot maga comes, the heart maga opens. The heart opens, hurde opens, yes. And then, you know, it is bubbling with energy. It likes to bend, it likes to bow, it likes to hug, it likes to kiss, it likes to smile, it likes to wink. Wow! It's very, very difficult. If you don't practice it at home, how do you practice? Hence, I find even the dogs in the streets are very violent. One Japanese girl came and told me, if you look at the dog in the street, dog is violent, you can understand the character of the people, yes. In the house, if you don't, if you don't bow to each other, respect each other, you don't wish each other, wish is very really important. Expression is very important, yes, expression. So we must say, excuse me, I'm sorry, Arigatou goes, Gomana say, I am sorry. Arigatou Gosai, my thank you is very, very important. Express that whenever you see in the house, you practice your brothers and sisters, mothers, mother and father and auntie. Even if you see 10 times, you know, still 10 times, say, hi, how are you? Good morning. Yes. My heart burns like fire, but my eyes are ice cold as dead ashes. Means my eyes, eyes are the greatest problem in my blind school. I tell my children, the blind children, the visually challenged children are Shiva, in Shiva's Rupa. It opens the third eye. Both eyes are closed, so there is not much of chanchal, not much of unnecessary disturbances. It is focused, yes. When it is focused, they can catch every word and it, does, it gets imprinted in every cell of the brain. Eyes are as cold as dead ashes. Yes, something doesn't change. The mother looks at the child, son, son looks at the mother, the boy looks at the girl, girl looks at they both the, is dead. Eyes are as cold as dead ashes. But the heart burns to say the expression. Because when you express, you are getting energetic. Don't think about what other people are thinking. Just say good morning and smile. If they don't return back, boy, you, why are you expecting something written? Be a karma, you keep doing work without expecting results. In the morning before dressing, light incense and meditate. Yes, incense and meditate. So that gives some beautiful smell in the room. Yes, incense. And then meditate means just empty. Meditate means people are thinking immediately, in the morning you light incense and you sit and fold. No, no, no. Meditate means get up in the morning. As you get up, you keep one bottle of water next to your bed. Room temperature water, not the air conditioned water. Drink the water by chewing the water, chewing the water. Then brush your teeth, take the fingers and press your gums. Gums so that little blood in the gum. Gums become very powerful and the mouth doesn't stink. The, the, the teeth become so strong. Yes. And then you blow out your nostril right in the wash basin 30 times. You do the stomach pumping 30 times to 200 times. Then you do anilum with you. Reduction exhale. Inhale from your right, 
actually to left telling the no, breath i am controlling you you don't control me you have the, got the first control and then you look at the surya you what do what do you do? then you go and light the incense what a beautiful smell yes that is your first meditation yes partake retire at regular hour partake of food at regular intervals eat with moderation never to the point of satisfaction never to the point of satisfaction i i go with my car and kavita will be sitting next to me sometimes and when i fill up the petrol kavita will be opening the window and telling them full tank but cut out full tank cut out <laughs> Cut out means don't fill it up to the brim. The petrol can unless waste, it can be too much. So never put it to the brim. It is a little space to give a little space for people to breathe. Don't dump in a lot of furniture in the house. The room wanted to breathe. What what you wanted only not to satisfy the the relatives and the friends who come. Just what is needed for others or or remove it up. So eat. to the point of said is not fill up to the throat like the uh, that's nambudri joke nambudri was has gone to a wedding place nambudri has got big belly and big fat that is a joke and nambudri is a, a group of people who are the um, who are in, in line with the brahmins or little up, upper caste to the brahmins they do the major part of the what you call um, pujas and other things in all the major temples Nambudri was having food, and uh, he looked at his friend next next to him and said, "Friend, the food is up to my throat. I can't breathe." So the friend told the Nambudri, "Who oh, is that? So put two two fingers into your mouth, into your throat, and vomit a bit. You feel very good." And Nambudri said, "Oh my God, two fingers! If I have got space for two fingers, I'll put two more bananas. I need two more bananas." <laughs> When alone, maintain the same attitude you have it in receiving guest. Yes, that you don't change when your samskrit is strong. Yes, when you have fixed routine, then any time and every time you see any guest, means a father receiving guest means father, mother, brothers. Wish them, wish them. Yes, I went to my house dead. My house has gone dead. Nobody is alive in my house. Nobody, not even a boy is wishing the uncle. Uncle is wishing the uh, niece, or uh, of course, uncle uh, likes to wish the niece, not the nephew. <laughs> But everybody seems to be dead. Nobody looking at you. Nobody smiling. Nobody wishing. Nobody talking. Everybody ordering as if they are the you know, military commanders. Gone. The country is gone. Watch what you say and whatever you say. Practice it, yes, Indra. There is a school in Indra Nagar, and one in Devanagari. One one bearded man who calls himself as a as a social worker. He runs the school, and whatever he says, he says, "I'll give you admission." That's all. Admission is given, but he will not allow anybody to carry any any dress. To wear. even the dress, what is wearing, he asks him to take it back home. Yes, he gives three sets of uniforms, three sets of color dress, three sets of yoga dress, karate dress, three sets of so sports dress, three pairs of uh, three sets of undergarment change every quarterly, and uh, yet he said breakfast, lunch, dinner, no veg, a non veg. Yes, they get A to so not a single pie is taken from the house. If it does anything, it is A to so even for the day scholar. Day scholars also he gives them soap to take take it home. Bathing soap, washing every week. Eh? Bathing soap, washing soap. A, a kilogram of rice to be taken home so that at home the parents can also eat. Eat you said. So what you say, you should practice. Watch what you say and what do you say? Practice. I love that man. His name is Rakum. People call Rakum, Dukum, Kukum, but some people call him Swami Rakum. Ji, some people call him Jai Rakum. Go visit Rakum School. It's a beautiful place where nobody in the whole world. I have run a school of this kind from kindergarten to post graduation. Not everything is free. It's a cashless school. When an opportunity comes, do not let it pass by. Yet always think twice before acting. Do not regret the past. Look to the future. Have the fearless idea of hero and the loving heart of a child. Yes, loving heart of a child. You are a child, not childish, but childlike. What? 
the burning of your heart is very, very, very important. Always telling good morning, yes, expressing, expression, smiling, yes, they don't smile, you don't care. Don't think what others are giving, clap, upon retiring as if you have entered your last sleep. Upon awakening, leave your bed behind, you instant as if you have cast away a pair of old shoes. The past is a bucket of ashes. Throw them out instead of trying to reburn. Just what is gone is gone. Just march ahead and prove every day is a new beautiful day. Burn your heart. Hot Maga they say that hot girl is hot, the boy is hot. But in that hot, add hot. If you have the hot and the hot can boil, strike when the rod is hot, burn it to the highest temperature, but let the eyes be cold. Yes. Like dead ashes. That means your samskriti is powerful.